So the next challenge uh, I bring to you, NV1 Unleashed, uh, is what I'm gonna call it. Hit that like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and follow along on this build. Hey guys, Mike here. Uh, as you may know, I've built two aircraft now from uh, drawings, and uh, with that I've had to do a lot of uh, modifications, uh, a lot of customising and designing, for example, engine mounts and things like that. Uh, first plane I built was a 601HD, should be right there. Uh, that had 100 horsepower Subaru, custom engine mounts, uh, a lot of custom stuff done to it. And uh, the second one is the one I'm flying at the moment is the Zenith Super Cruiser, or I call it the Super Cruiser, Zenith 750 Cruiser. Uh, has 160 horsepower um, Subaru engine um, and it performs absolutely amazing. So, brings me to the next been thinking about what am I going to do I need a new challenge something different so uh, I have decided to design and build my own uh, amphibian aircraft so the landing gear uh, I want to make it really solid I want to be able to land this thing anywhere um, in the bush short field um, just put it down wherever I need to so I'm going uh, big turf glide tyres like what's on my so cruiser. So this is the design that I've drawn up on CAD and it's going to have uh, retractable gear going up. It'll go up. I'm actually going to have here a streamline bit over the wheel just to cover that up. Engine, EJ22 engine up here with a gearbox and a 74 inch prop. So that's basically the design. These here, these things here are, um, I don't know if you can see the mouse, but these, the pointer, these things here are stabilizers. So when you're in the water, it'll sit on those and um, sit level. These doors here will open up to get in and out. And uh, I'll put a, um, a window in there, a small little, window in here as well so I can fly with the window off open and um, just a rear back window these wings will have struts so it's going to be a, a strut braced uh, wing this airfoil here will actually be slightly different to that shape it's actually a airfoil that I'm going to run just to give uh, a little bit more lift um, as well as stabilize it in the water and this uh, this tail will actually be all out of uh, aluminium tubing and Oratex wire braced in both. I've got the horizontal stabiliser very much in line with uh, the f airflow from the prop. So that should actually be quite good. I've actually got my foot out the, out the bottom of the plane there as you can see but I just, um, when I uh, set up the, the uh, dummy in there I didn't put his leg up enough but yeah basically that's the the basic uh, design of it it'll have uh, opening doors on both sides uh, full retractable the nose the length of the nose I could move this passenger forward and back um, I'm probably going to need to move it forward just uh, to counteract the yeah. engine but um, I've done that just so I've got plenty of uh, room in that cabin and I should actually be able to have rear seats in the back here too. So it will be a four seat aircraft, um, but will be able to be registered as a two seat also. Should be pretty versatile, providing uh, it all goes to plan. It's gonna have uh, 160 to 200 horsepower, uh, use a Subaru conversion like I've done before with SDS fuel injection. Um, so I know that works, it runs beautiful in uh, the cruiser 
Uh, I'm going to use uh, a lot of what I've learned over the over the years of different um, designs, bring it all together, and uh, put this uh, amphibian together. So we will see how it all turns out. But um, so here's the uh, MDF mock-up of the hull. I've actually um, just put it together just to see how it's all going to look, whether my sizing is uh, is right with what I've drawn up on uh, CAD. I've got reverse strakes in under there uh, and uh, I'm going to have lifting strakes down through the middle as well. Uh, it'll also be for strength of the hull. So really, the reason I did this, I wanted to uh, see how my CAD drawing came up, firstly, um, as opposed to getting it in the flesh. So I've used just cheap 3mm MDF. I wanted to make sure all the bends, because there's a few curves that are, um, a few curves around that uh, I wanted to just make sure that uh, it, with the drawing when I did the loft, whether the lofts were correct and actually um, I was able to to bend it around, bend the flat sheet around it. So good thing about this is uh, now, now that I've sort of uh, mocked it up, I've got templates. I can just pull it all apart. It's just hot glue. Use the hot glue gun and um, a few screws and stuff. Pull it all apart. These are the templates. I've plonked plonk them straight on top of uh, my aluminium sheet, cut it out, mark it, cut it out, and uh, start TIG welding it all together. So it, um, it should make it quite uh, quick and easy to go and uh, build, put together. So uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do all this, this whole build, in this double garage. So not only am I gonna build it but i'll show you how how to build it in such a small space my wife's car will come in here every night uh, so i'll have to always keep things clean but uh the last cruiser that i built um and i'll put a photo here uh I built this in the in this same garage so um, i know it can be done it's a, a bit of moving around and things but uh yeah this is all I've got as far as the garage, so I'm going to make, make do with what I've got. Follow along, follow the build, I'm going to do a build log of it. Um, any, uh, if you've got any questions or any input, let me know. Uh, always open for uh, some input. Uh, this is going to be pretty much a, a bare bones uh, designed aircraft, just a proof of concept basically. Um, just airspeed, altitude, all the basic instruments, that's it. I'm not gonna go anything fancy with it. I uh, just wanna build it, get it uh, flying, and uh, fine tune it all from there, and then um, see how it go. Uh, once that is flying, if it's flying well, then um, uh, I might build another one, or even build some kits, put, to get, put together some kits for it. So um, the specs I'm hoping for uh, with this, with this aircraft is um, a maximum takeoff weight of 900 kilos, uh, empty weight of 450, targeted empty weight of 450. Um, I'm gonna see how light I can build it. Um, and uh, uh, cruise speed, I want a cruise speed of around that 100 knots uh, with a stall speed of 40 knots. So uh, well, uh, it is a challenge and uh, I'm up for the challenge so uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. So aluminium, all out of aluminium. I'm going to have an aluminium TIG welded hull. Uh, I'm trying something different. No one else has done it uh, that I know of. Uh, amphibian with an aluminium floating hull. Uh, so I'm going to be the first, hopefully, to try it. Um, I could be wrong. There could be others out there. But um, yeah, it's just something different. Uh, I think I can keep it really light. I reckon I could build it lighter than fiberglass. Um, for the same strength, just uh, in the design and strength of it as well, um, and keep things uh, quite simple to do and build. So 
really need to watch that weight balance because the engine's a bit further back. Um, I need a lighter, lighter tail, which is why in the design I've actually gone quite a long nose in it as well. Um, and that being because uh, to help my weight and balance out, I've also got a bit of room to play with uh, where I place the pilot and passenger seats. I can move them forward or back. Um, it'll be more than likely forward to uh, counteract the weight of the engine just to get the uh, weight and balance in where I need it. So uh, yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it all um, comes together. It's gonna be full retractable, it's all over center locking mechanisms. Still, still working out if I'm gonna drive it electric with electric actuators or actually just a manual lever. Um, I'm not sure. I'll see once I get it to that stage, I'll see how I go from there. So all the engine mount and everything, it'll all be chrome Oli. Wing pickup points will be chrome Oli as well. And uh, very similar to the cruiser wing pickups um, and design as well. So uh, hit that like, subscribe and ring that bell and follow along on this build. Um, I may be crazy, but follow the crazy guy and uh, let's see. See if we can make this uh, make this happen.